180. Five on the return, that's Johnson. 80 on the stop. Antonio Dilworth. And that's where the Grizzlies will take over. It's first and ten, Grizzlies. And there's a flag on the play. And I'll wait for that call from Jeff Clark. Block it in the back. It's called against the Grizzlies. And I'll march it back. 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and that'll make it on the 22, 23 yard line. And that's where they'll take over. Dodson will go to work from there, 14 50 remaining in the third. And Jeff Clark cranks his left arm, and the clock rolls into motion. Some yards. 99, Gary Pullins on the stop. And then a bunch of other storms chipped in. 1406 remaining in the third, and the clock continues to move. Ball now marked on the 33 and a half. Dodson moving them down the field. Keep it on the ground, the Grizzlies are blocking and Dodson's picking up a couple of more. Good enough for the first down. And it's first and 10 now for the Grizzlies. Fresh set of four for Dodson. And the ball is marked just at the 36 and a half. Where it is, isn't it? Is it at the 36 and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Dotson goes for the pass, and it's incomplete. Brings up second down. Second and 10, and still at the 36 and a half. Once again, appreciate everybody coming out here to McGavick High School. Watch the Storm and the Grizzlies. Still have time to catch a West Coast game when you get home. Here we go. Dodson finds number 12 and completes it. Is he down? Yeah. And Dodson is down. 12, who is also your punter and kicker. That's Hall. And I hope Dodson's okay. Boys, you lose him, you're in trouble. Somebody jumped off sides or a little dead ball, false start. It's going to be called against the Grizzlies. Back it up five. It'll be first and 15. Moves the ball back into Grizzly territory, and it'll put it at the 46. First look at Hall as a quarterback. No. 
Correction, Dotson is back in, we're ready to roll. Dotson almost finds Hall, and it'll bring up third down. 11.08 remaining in the third. Dodson's pass is incomplete. Correction on me, it is now third down. Correction on me, it's now third down. Clock stops 10 5 7 remaining. In the third quarter. Keep it cranking, Jeff. Let's get out of here, man. They want to go home and go to work. Unless they just don't have a job. Dodson's pass was picked off by number four, Brian Holt. And it looks like the storm will go to work. First and ten, storm. Number nine, Felipe Hall is the quarterback. 10-20 remaining in the third. Keep her rolling, keep her rolling, keep her rolling. And the Grizzlies sling Bama Carter to the ground. He's dropped for a significant loss. Looks like to be second and 16. Heck, they did better on the interception than they would if they punted it. No, I'm just throwing an interception. That's Grantley Hunter and brings the ball into Grizzly territory. It'll be first and ten for the storm. They mark the ball at the 20-yard line. 901 and moving. Chain game. Boxman, all of them move. They'll reset back up and Felipe Hall will go back to work.
the Carter, number 27, number 50 on the stop, that's Richardson for the Grizzlies. Running game not operating too well for the Storm. Second and 10, 7.48 left to go in the third. And a timeout for a flag. I'll wait for the call from Jeff Clark. Early, uh, 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 early indication, it's illegal substitution. I knew what it was, I just couldn't get it out. It's a five yard penalty to repeat the down. And it's still second down, second and 15 and the clock rolls. Everybody's coming after Felipe Hall as the laundry litters the field. And I'll wait for the call from Jeff Clark. Dead ball, false start. is called against the Storm. That'll back it up an additional five. It'll now make it second and 20 for the Storm. Penalties begin to haunt the Storm. And the ball is marked at the 30-yard line. Hold still, guys. Let's roll. And Felipe Hall finds number 21, Jimmy Hill, just on a nice little tall screen pass, and Hill rolls into the end zone. Touchdown, Hill. Touchdown, Storm. They'll go for the PAT. Scoble and company, along with Chance Price, will come onto the field to kick that PAT. Price is the holder. Coble's the kicker. Chris Robinson's the long snapper. 6.49 remaining. 33 nothing. They'll try to tack on one more. Storm trying to get 11 on the field for the PAT. Untimed down. Here we go. Somebody moved, and that just didn't go to work. Flags fly. And dead ball. False starts. That'll back it up five. And to a kicker, that's a little bit better for him. So they like it a little bit because they can get a better creep on it. And Kobo almost touches the American flag and one more tacked on the scoreboard. Did you get it on there yet? No. Your score with 649 left to go in the third. Storm, 34, Grizzlies, nothing. Chased out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take over. It'll be first and 10. Grizzlies, 634 left to go in the third. The ball will be marked at the midfield mark, right on the 50. I had a chance to talk to the head coach of the storm, and the indication tells me nobody knows exactly where they might be playing based on this game. If it continues like it is, they don't know if they'll be away or at home. We'll wait to see how it plays out. Here we go. Either way, Dodson is the quarterback for the Grizzlies, and he'll go to work.
the heck? And a man down for the Grizzlies, and I don't like to see that. 27 was on the run, and that's Oliver. Dodson's pass is incomplete and a little animosity is cranking up on the field and we're not really ready for that at this point in the game. 524. Guys, let's just play football. No sense. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what they called your mom, your dad, your dog, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law. I don't really care. <laughs> just don't fight. Keep it all under control. It just gets crazy. All it does is call see does somebody get thrown if you get thrown out, you know what? In a playoff situation, that's just what you don't need, especially if it's a key player. Because you gotta sit out the following week. Doesn't matter if it's high school or this league. Let him have it. Looks like Dodson connects and moves the ball into storm territory. Good play for the Grizzlies as they're on the move. They'll pick up a fresh set of four. It'll be first and ten for the Grizzlies. Chain gang moves. Everybody will get reset and the ball will be marked on the 37-yard line. We've got a man down on the far side of the field. Quickly replace him and move right on over. Here we go. to Oliver as he picks up some significant yardage and it'll be second down second and one now for the Grizzlies as they start to put something together and a drive is going for them ball will be marked at the 27 yard line Stop, wasn't it? Yeah. My corner? Yeah. Cromwell. Cromwell Stewart on the stop, number two. And 220 remaining in the third. Dodson's pass is incomplete. We have fourth down. And why would you not get the first down? You tell me that. You you were that close. You need to, you went for the kill shot. On well, third down, oh, shit. That's not what I needed. Deal with that in a minute.
Dodson's pass is picked off by number seven. It'll be Chance Price. And Storm will take over. First and ten, Storm. Tackle 12 Roger Moore on the screen pass. Roger Moore catches a screen pass from Felipe Hall. Tackle made by number three. Antoine Binion. And that'll end the third quarter. We'll take a break. Fourth quarter coming at you. Second and six, we're going to start the fourth quarter. We're rolling. Let's line up and bust some heads. Let's go. Clark on the run, number 28, number 93 on the stop, 29, I'm sorry, thank you, you're out, and we're on the Simmons Jr., and we're ready to roll. Numbers look 29 and 28 looks the same from my distance. 1346 remains in the ball game. Ball now marked on the 27 and three quarters. <coughs> Felipe Hall is still running the offense. Ray Roll. Flags fly, 93 and 12. Back to the chunk board on that one. Roger Moore on the reverse, 93 on the stop, and Laundry litters the field. Wait for the call. Unsportsmanlike. Called against Grizzlies. Number 93 was on 
the stop for the Grizzlies. I don't have a name. Holloway. And that moves the ball up to the 40-yard line. First and 10 now for the Storm. Clock continues to roll. 13.07 left to go in the ball game. Double deuce. What? Old oh, double deuce finds the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Keelon Jones. Touchdown, Jones. Touchdown, Storm. Old oh, double deuce. 12 36 remaining in the ball game. Keelon Jones finds the end zone. I've seen him do it once before again in earlier in the season. PAT attempt in order. Coble comes onto the field. Chance Price will hold. Robinson will hike it for the long snap. 40 nothing is where we stand on the untimed down. Coble splits it. Ball bounces on the blacktop of the track, and we're standing with 12.36 left to go in the ball game. Your score, Storm 41. Jimmy Hill and Grizzlies will take over first and 10 Grizzlies. Jeff Clark will spot the ball and we'll get ready to roll. First and 10 Grizzlies. Fire it, Jeff. Jeff. Golly. I guess they're having a talk that they don't like us running the clock, maybe. Yeah, but they ain't like the score is close enough for the time to make a difference. No. I mean, why not get out of there while you're alive and go home and you're not hurt? The flags fly right before the snap. Illegal substitution is called against the Grizzlies. Five-yard deficit, which will make it uh, first and 15 now for them. Left arm of clock. Jeff Clark goes into motion, and the clock cranks. Clark and clock don't go together for me. Continues to run, picks up significant yardage, and brings it back at a reasonable state. It's now second down. It'll be second and six for them, and the ball is marked at the 31 yard line. I'd like to remind you, the concession stands open as the smoke drifts across the end zone where the scoreboard is. Please stop by there. Here we go. Again on the carry. 44 Nathaniel Clay Brooks comes up off the bottom, which has been an active gentleman all evening on the defensive team of the storm. 11 13 as the clock continues to move. It'll make it third down now for the Grizzlies.
Grizzlies continuing to use the ground play. You hear Oliver, can't find out where he's at on his hands and knees. 21, the ball carrier for the Grizzlies. It'll be Smith. And it's fourth down for them. Got it. They keep it on the ground, and it looks like they'll pick up the first down. Chain gang and box man will move. First and ten now for the Grizzlies. And it looks to be marked just at the 38. 38 and three quarters. Dodson brings them to the line on 35, left to go. Foot tackled by 16. Oliver on the run. He's foot tackled by number 16. That's Everett Douglas. Not a storm seeing action right now. 828 left to go in the ball game. They bring the ball deeper into storm territory. It's now marked on the 33. Dodson still running it for them. Timeout storm. They want to talk about it. Maybe get some extra guys in. 41 to nothing. Shoddy snap. I believe the miscommunication on the snap brings up second down. As we almost hit the eight minute mark. Nice. Dotson's pass was picked off by number four, Holt. He pitched it back to Chance Price, number seven. He finished it off, took it a little bit more further down the field. And that's where the storm will go to work. It'll be first and ten storm. And now it looks like we'll see a little quarterback in front of the number five, Geno Jones. 
Jones, the backup quarterback for the Storm. 7.06 remaining in the ball game. And the ball is now marked along the 44-yard line. Robinson's now going to be the center. Jones is the quarterback, and we're rolling. Jones handed off to number 21, Jimmy Hill, brought down by number 50. For the Grizzlies, Richardson can bring up second down, second in about a yard. Back to number 21, Jimmy Hill. Not much of a game. Third down now for the Storm. 5.30 left to go in the ball game. <clears throat> Bout on the 47 and three quarters of the Grizzlies. It's third and two and a half. Laura Long, three. 41 nothing Storm. Somebody moved, and I'm not for sure who it is. I have to wait for the call from Jeff Clark. Dead ball. Ball start. It's called against the storm. That'll back it up five. They'll repeat the down, so it'll be third down. About eight, eight and a half. I'll wait till everybody gets set. That moves it further. It actually puts it in storm territory. Just on the 47-yard line, Clark cranks his left arm. If you'd like to follow the Nashville Storm, real easy, www.nashvillestorm.com. There'll be a story out tomorrow. I'll tell you what's going on next week. Pass is incomplete. Fire that clock. And it's fourth down now for the storm. Cole will come out to punt it. Five will drop back deep. Four. The Asheville Grizzlies, and that's Johnson. Robinson's a long snapper. Here we go. Returns at Johnson, that's where the Grizzlies will take over. It'll be first and ten in Grizzlies. 416 remaining in the ball game. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Join a little Storms Grizzly action in playoff fashion. Stop by the concession stand on your way out. May find yourself a good buy as we're drifting down in the end of this ball game. I'm sure they don't want to take the food home. 416 remaining in the ball game. Ball now marked on the 30 yard line.
Here we go. Hall's now the quarterback for the Grizzlies. Oliver carries it. He's got to have well over 100 yards this ball game. Number 27, and he runs out of bounds. Good enough for a first down. Chain gang moves. Box man reset. They're going to mark it just at the 47-yard line. It's first and 10 now for the Grizzlies. Still in their own backyard. Did he fire the clock as he should? It's first down. Oh, they ran out of bounds. Twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seven, and twenty five. Twenty seven Oliver on the run, twenty five on the stop. That's Sam Hewitt. Clock continues to move, three forty left to go in the ball game, and they move the ball into storm territory. It's going to be marked just at the 41, 42 yard line, let's call it. This Hall's got. A drive going. 327 and moving. Twenty one and eight. Jeff Clark to call that one. Unsportsmanlike, that'll back it up 15. Not good for them. And that'll take it back into group. That'll take it back into Grizzly territory. The ball will now be marked at the 43 and a half. Fire the clock, Jeff. Come on. Clark cranks his left arm and the clock will roll, 257. Not good as laundry litters the field. Penalties at the end of the ball. Towards the end of the ball game here, 21 Smith on the carry. And we got a downstorm play. Let's go. Illegal substitution. That, that's going to be called. Let's go. Seven thirty three. All around the carry, number twenty seven, number thirty three, Ivan Hall on the stop. Second down. And we're going to have a timeout here, aren't we? Two minute warning. Oh, yeah. I said, what if they call a timeout? You're going to call it? You just stop it? Yeah. Two minute warning. We'll call timeout right now. Take a
the Sally play there is number three, was your ball carrier. And that'd be Binion. And the clock continues to move, 142. Ball marked at the 27. 132 left to go in the ball game. I can't thank you enough, everybody, for coming out. Supporting the Storm, supporting the Grizzlies. Incomplete pass, and the clock stops with 52 ticks left to go in the ball game. Once again, if you need an update on what's going to happen next week, stop by www.nashvillestorm.com. Jeff Freeman is the web operator here tonight. I'm sure they'll be updating it either later on tonight or first thing in the morning. So I'd say by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we'll know what's going to happen and where the storm's either going to be on the road or at home. stops, flags fly. I'm waiting for that call from Jeff Clark. Good enough for a first down. That's the bottom line. First and ten. Now for the Grizzlies. Flags fly again on the incomplete pass. And we can't get out of here. You're up 41 to nothing. Let them score. What I mean, you shut them out, what difference does it make? They're driving, whatever. When you get tired, you make mistakes. People get hurt. Yep, that's exactly right. You are all over it. How many times have you seen them leave in a quarterback or do something useless? Just let them score. Let's get it over with. Let them score. Do the kickoff. Do the PAT. Take a knee. Let's go home. We're not accomplishing anything. Oh, gosh. You backed them up. It was an uncatchable pass, so just pick up the pass. He threw pass interference, but it was uncatchable, so it was put it back. Ball now marked on the 15-yard line. 32 ticks remain. We're playing football. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's line up. Run the ball for the time around. Right no, no, they're going to try to score. They'll probably call three timeouts here within this 32 <laughs> seconds trying to score. Run around, get set. Yeah. Pull the breath far. Yep, they want a timeout. Flags fly, clock stops. Time out, Grizzly. 
Grizzlies. What I just said. <laughs> I call that. Snapped. Intercepted. Thank you. Running, running time out. He tripped over the dog for you. Interception. Boy. Who intercepted it? You got to talk about a turf mites. 55. Interception by number 55. Snap. And all they need to do is hike it. Put it in the books. They'll put 11 on the field. And Patrick Abernathy will call the easiest play in the book. And that is take a knee as time will drift out here on the official. Line up. Go ahead, guys. Come on, do what I ask you to do. And just like I said, Geno Jones will take a knee. And it's the easiest play in the book to call. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of tonight's ball game, 41 nothing, Nashville Storm. Appreciate everybody coming out. Tomorrow, tune in, www.nashvillestorm.com, and catch up on all the latest storm action. And congratulations to former Minnesota Viking head coach of the storm, Patrick Abernathy.